Hello, thanks for tuning in to the Make So channel here um, in Boat Key, Singapore, where we have our craft workshop, where we teach people how to create and make things for themselves. But it's also where we showcase our Hestai products, which we sell on Etsy and Amazon. And today we're doing a short uh, demo that we, we call them demos. We don't really call them tutorials. We're doing a short demo that's really going to focus on our Cool Touch Cooling Block. We've been getting a lot of questions about the Cool Touch Cooling Block, and so we wanted to do a video that kind of really focused on the Cool Touch Cooling Block. And the one thing that uh, it focuses on is this flock shirt here. Um, we're going to make this flock shirt with you. Flock is a really cool uh, vinyl that I love because here in Singapore it gets really crazy hot um, and you can sweat and vinyl is just really hot under shirt like large vinyl designs in Singapore is just tough to do. These have a fabric feel, they feel great to touch, they feel great on your skin and when pressed and done right. They look awesome on a shirt and they give a nice raised view. Now, if you could tell, there's something that went off when I did this, but I think we fixed it and it came out right. And if you want to see that it is, keep stay tuned and uh, you'll see how I made that mistake right in this video. Coming up. Okay, welcome back to the uh, overhead view. Today, we have our beautiful bright red shirt laid out in front of us. And um, like I said in the intro today, we are gonna be featuring our Cool Touch cooling block um, because we get a lot of questions on the cooling block, um, a lot of interest on the cooling block. So we wanted to do kind of a exclusive demo on just talking about the cooling block. Uh, part of it so we could focus on that maybe answer some of the questions that we normally get um, uh, with it I am holding it upside down very sorry and so this one is going to be all about the cooling block today um, before we get into it today we uh, we want to talk about um, our cooling block and our cool and our easy teas I want to make sure that um, you get them from just our Amazon shop our Etsy shop or our website because we've been getting a lot of people letting us know on the YouTube comments and even on our Facebook uh, page that people are using our photos and our pictures um, and, and representing our guides, which are big, beautiful, double printed guides, but then are selling you a etched, cheap, thin, you know, one eighth of an inch guide and we even have people come back to our site saying, hey, you sent me the wrong guide. It's nothing, look, it looks nothing like the one you sent me. And then after investigation, we go find out that they didn't really buy the guide from us. They bought it from somebody that was presenting themselves as us and then selling them something else. So we just want you to be very careful for that because those people who are doing that, um, we try to shut them down as much as we can. We ask them to stop. Usually they don't stop and then we go to their IP and we've had a couple people's uh, sites uh, shut down from doing it. And the reason we do that is, is because it's unfair to us a bit, but it's unfair to the consumer mostly, you guys as well. Because if you go and you see this guide and you say, wow, I want that nice, thick, true easy t guy with the logo I always look for the logo but you want it that lays flat and slides smooth and you can actually view it on this side or if you want to you can flip it over and view it on the other side all of this uh, functionality that you want to bring and you say yes i make a decision i want that and then you purchase it from somebody who has rep represented themselves as this but send you something else that can be devastating and frustrating for everybody and we don't want that for our customers that's why we really pursue this because we don't want our customers out there getting tricked and we think it's unfair to you so with that said we're going to leave it at that we're going to go on to happier things and get right into our um, process here our demo so today we will be putting on a flock design 
my Mixo Tiger Design kind of Japanese graphic feel to it. I like it a lot. I really like using um, Flock a lot. Um, Flock is different from your uh, smooth vinyl. Um, your smooth vinyl, regular HTV, things like Easy Weed, we always use Sizer here. But um, those type of things actually, when you press them, and, and you, you've seen this before, you press them down in the shirt and it takes on the shape of the fiber and it sinks into the shirt. Glitters and flocks do not do that. They rely solely on the glue on the back to make the adhesion to the shirt. So for that sake, you want that, those are usually what's called warm peel or cold peel, really cool, cool peel, is because you want the glue that's set on the shirt because it's when you're pulling up the carrier, you don't want that glue to be activated and gooey and pull up your design design with it. And so that's one of the places where the cooling block really shines. Um, people ask, do you really need to use a cooling block? No, you don't absolutely need to use a cooling block. What you can do, if you press things and you want to use that method when you want to cool down the shirts, you can uh, either let it just let it cool naturally, 10 to 20 minutes, or as Sizer uh, suggests, you could place it up against the wall. If you're placing it up against the wall, you're using the same method as this. This is That's called conduction. So uh, a big question is people wanna know, do I need to put this in the freezer? No, you don't. It works by what's called conduction, where you put this on and it actually pulls the heat from the shirt into the block. The way we discovered this is because I do acrylic uh, jewelry and I bend the, uh, the, acrylic, the acrylic jewelry and the amount of heat that it takes me to get into the acrylic to actually to get it to bend is a very, very, very large amount. I have to put the, 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 uh, the, the heating element that I use goes up very high and it takes a long time, a good three to four to five minutes to actually get that acrylic to bend. So this acrylic, acrylic naturally will take a lot of heat into it. So that's good for this process of taking heat out of the shirt. And the more heat you put in it, the more heat it'll pull up out of the shirt. And so that's just one of the natural product uh, properties of acrylic. So all the technical science stuff done, let's get right into it. First thing first, we are going to press our shirt to get all the moisture and just get a nice flat surface going here. We are going at 155 degrees centigrade for 15 seconds when we do our press because that is what is recommended by Sizer. And again, we get it on there, it's extremely hot. It's about 155 degrees Celsius right there now. I like to take my uh, cool touch. You'll see me in my fast time videos. I'll take my cool touch and I'll give it a nice rub across evenly, just trying to pull some of the heat out of there, trying to get it so where I touch it, where it's warm, but it's not piping hot. Warm for, for vinyl is not bad. Hot will activate the glue and you don't want that. So if you get the glue, if you put it on the shirt while it's piping hot and you're moving this vinyl around, you're activating the glue, you're leaving glue residue, you're taking glue off of, off of there. That's why you wanna get it down to a, 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 just a warm level so that you're not activating that glue. So we will bring our beautiful Maximus because this shirt is a 2X and it's for me and uh, we'll lay it on there. As you see with the Maximus, we can go with the color side. I can see it perfectly fine. Or on a color, if this was a black shirt, we could go with the white side and you could see it perfectly fine there too. So that's one of the things that you only get on the Easy Tees, on all Easy Tees is the full uh, color white reversible print, which is made so that you can reverse the Easy Tee in, um, in either way. So we will go ahead Get our easy T lined up around the collar, hold it in place. We will bring our vinyl over and line it up with the K because we know it goes with the K. We'll put the K right at the top. And then the sticky side helps it just stick to it and you just pull it away and that's easy T's job done. 
Now, from there, if we needed to make any adjustments and movements or anything like that, um, our shirt is cool, so we don't have to worry about it leaving any residues or anything like that. But we don't need to make any adjustments because we use the easy tee and we'll go ahead and get our press on there. So this one is a medium press. We're gonna uh, press it down pretty pretty evenly here with the um, easy press. Um, if you have a, a, a regular heat press, you would wanna put it on, I think three, three to four bar is what they call for. And after we go, we take it off. And from here, we wanna just cool it down just a bit to get it just to where it's touchable. So you don't need to make it ice cold. You just need to get it down to where it's touchable, where the, the, the 155 degrees Celsius is brought down considerably to uh, a hand touching level. After we get it down to a hand touching level, this flock um, grabs back on the carrier. And so that's one reason why you want it to be cured and nice. So you need to carefully pull flock off and this is probably a real testament to how this works because these little bits and pieces are very tough to do and they will pull and fight back on you and pull up we're getting things to pull up there a little bit And you see these little letters are all gonna be difficult, but you'll have to give them some help when you pull them or they will want to pull up on you. As we go through this process, uh, the G totally came up. So I probably didn't cool it down enough because as we see now, as it's getting even cooler, it's easier to do. And that G just came up all the way. That's the great thing about heat transfer vinyl though, is that it's forgiving. We can just take that G and we're gonna replace it where it did. So this is probably a good learning lesson to say that I should have used my cooling block even a little bit more, got a little bit more cooler. Cause as you saw later in the process, these little dots and dips, none of them came up cause they were actually cooler than when I first got down to that G. So that is pretty much showing you right there that, that the cooling process actually works, especially for flops and for glitter when you're working with small texts and those intricate designs, those are the things that's going to actually um, cooling down your flock and cooling down your glitter is actually going to get it to hold so you can pull that carrier up. So, so now I'm just going to cool that down quickly a little bit so I can touch it. So we got the full graphic on here again. Now I'm using a shirt for myself and I'll fill you guys back in and tell you how long that G lasts. I would be worried about that G. It's a little bit off even in the placement. As far as if you're selling shirts, I probably wouldn't sell um, that shirt with that G coming up because that means that that glue activated, got pulled away, and then I just put it back down. So clearly there's not as much glue on there as it was as the rest of the letters. But um, I'll come back and fill you get, uh, guys up on, uh, fill you guys in on how long that G lasted. But as you can see, this was probably 
the uh, great example of why we use the cooling block and what the cooling block is used for because that G pulling up was the product of it not being um, cooled down enough. I should have took maybe one or two extra seconds with the, with the swipe of the cooling block to pull a little bit more of the heat out of the shirt because um, as you saw, these little bits, the little teeth and all of that did fine because they had more chance to cool just while, while they were sitting there. But, so that is the demonstration of the uh, cooling, the cool touch cooling block, why we use the cool touch cooling block, and we have our nice make so shirt. So thanks for this, uh, watching this quick one. Um, if you're interested in any of our products or uh, they're linked in the show notes below, Hestai on Etsy, Hestai on Amazon, and um, you, you can also search Cool Touch, that'll pull us up, and Easy Tees. If you got any questions, comments about the videos, things where you said, hey, you should have did this, you should have did that, um, any requests for new videos. I know there was a request for a back graphic video, which I'm working on. We're gonna uh, do a back graphic video coming up. Um, please let me know and then we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, thanks for watching.